Well, delighted to say, joined now by Academy Manager Jeremy Sauer and sitting to his right. Nessa Belikli, that means you've signed a professional contract. What does that mean to you? Oh, um, it means the world. Uh, I've never, I haven't dreamt of this day, I've dreamt it forever, but I've never known it will be real. It will be my reality. It's unbelievable. Can't, can't wait. Fair enough, and the season as a whole, it started with um, FAU Cup run, and now it's led to this play, you know, games to the 21s. Just describe how the overall season has been for you. Oh, it's been really good, actually. Um, the FA Youth Cup run, as you said, it's been amazing. I never thought we could play in that such such big stadiums and play against such big teams and overcome the the, the expectations. And it's been a really good season for me. Yeah. It's often said though the signing the pro deal is just a start. Um, what have Neil Ardley and maybe Alan Reeves said to you about what you need to do now? They've just told me I've just got to get my head down and work even harder now. It's just a start, as you said. Um, I need to get in the gym more. I, I know I'm not the biggest boy, but I need to work harder in the, off the pitch as well as on the pitch. That's great to hear, but turn to Jeremy now. You know Nessa quite well. How hard has he had to work to get this far? Yeah, Nes, Nes has done brilliant, Chris. Um, he's been with us since under-14s. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? So he's been here for a few years. He knows us quite well. Um I think it's fair to say there's in your development reports, we do reports all the time obviously, he's had similar targets along that journey yeah. since under 14s. He's wonderfully gifted and, and he's got great technique, his left foot's a wand. Um, you know, he's a, he creates goals and he can score goals and that was um, definitely evident in the FA Youth Cup run. Robbo liked to play him on the right, cutting in on that left foot and it definitely was uh, effective. Uh, the other side of his game where we've been having conversations and development reports is around his hard work and stuff off the ball, the defensive stuff, which is important. And for Nez, it's taken a little bit longer than some of the other lads, um, who I'm sure we'll talk about later, mainly because he's been adapting to under-21s football. Nez is slightly younger in his age group as well, so uh, he's got a bit more development to go than a few of those other boys. Uh, and in the under-21s, you know, and first team, he needs to be trusted in the defensive side as well. So we've got to the point now where we feel like he's at a certain level where he can do that and you add that on top of what he can do with the football um, you know we think we've got a fantastic player on our hands who can develop so we're delighted we're really pleased for him it's great to hear that this individual pathway mapped out four players um, just talk us through how the season's gone in terms of bringing other players um, up to Nesset's level as well yeah um, obviously most of it's fairly well documented of the FA Youth Cup run did that for us um, I think we've probably been surprised ourselves really in terms of how we've come as an academy in a short space of time and it was fairly overwhelming having three and a half thousand people here wasn't yeah. it in the FA Youth Cup game um, so perhaps we've surpassed expectations but um, without being arrogant about it we work really hard at it and I think it's just rewards and, and the, the guys and girls who've been working with Nez for the last couple of years at under 18s have done a fantastic job of it so having Nez now, I think, is our fourth pro contract signing of the season. So obviously Paul Kalambay, who's a year younger, and has come into the club recently and really kicked on strongly. Alfie, who grabbed a lot of headlines at the FA Cup run, and then Teosi, who obviously most of the fans will remember last Saturday, got his debut and scored a goal, which is fantastic. And now Nez is number four. So if, uh, if I can have four pro signings every season, Chris, I'll be happy an academy manager for sure. Back to Nasset now, um, a big philosophy of the academy is homegrown and hungry. Um, although you're from Turkish background in terms of parentage, um, tell us about how you came to join the Dons. Um, well, I started off at this low league club, um, Crimping Casuals, and then after a while I got in, I played for Epsom Eagles, and we've had a few games against AFC Wimbledon, and ever since then I've grown a relationship with AFC. Um, I joined here at under 14s and I've been here ever since and I love every moment of it. This is a good example, Chris, where you know we've had boys like Teo C and Paul who've come more recently since we've been mm -hmm. in Cadbury, but Nez is, if you like, one of the old guard who came through when we were doing local league yeah. stuff, and you know what we have now is in place because of what we were doing back then, the foundations mm -hmm. Robbo and I and other people put in place, and, and Nez was part of that journey, so that's always a good story. Yeah, that sort of fits with my next question, Nez. Um, how much have you felt a part of this club and how much are you aware of the history moving forward as well? Yeah, I'm, I feel like I feel part of the club, that it's a family club. We all like express our feelings together. We, if we've got something on our minds, we'll tell each other. 
and uh, I know all about the history and hopefully we can rebuild that history. And perhaps uh, your family now, they might let you have a few uh, time off from the uh, chippy. Nah, I work <laughs> tonight so I don't think, well, I don't mind working there because it's my family at the end of the day and I want to help them as they want to help me improve as a person and hopefully it'll be alright. Just tell, like, tell us where that is and uh, how many hours you do at the moment. Uh, it's only on a Friday night, so I work from 5 to around 8.30. Um, it's on the 93 bus towards North Cheam. If you're in the first team squad, though, I think you have to find cover for you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but let's hope so. Now, how much motivation have you got to push on? Oh, a lot. I just want to get my head down in the off-season and come back even fitter and stronger and show to the gaffer what I can really do. It's great to hear, Jeremy. Um, we have talked about bringing players through a lot at this club, um, but perhaps there's even more talented boys to, to come through. I mean, have we got a real structure now that can bring them on as well? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, we've been doing it for so long now that you know we're, we're getting to a point where we feel we've hit a bit of a tipping point with boys uh, at our top end of our age groups being able to make the breakthrough and the step up. Um, so that's exciting. Um, what we look at, we go, well, what, what programme did Nez have when he was 14 and what do our under-14s currently have? And, you know, if Nez had had the programme we have now, he'd be, you know, potentially even further down the line. So some of those boys in the programme, were uh, at those lower age groups, they're getting a fantastic, you know, um, development programme. They're getting a lot of contact hours. They're getting a real professional setup. They've got the pathway here at the club and that's important. They've got a lot of stability being a fan-owned club. That's important too. We've seen a few academies recently go under because they haven't got the stability. Um, and, you know, if if anybody sees 3,500 people turn up for an under-18s game, I'd suggest that the fans, it's something that they want and there's a high desire for it. So in terms of that pathway, it's hard to, to, to see that, you know, we could paint it any clearer, really. The progression of the club, the new stadium, things like that will only aid that development and um, we'll have a few more debuts and a few more first-team appearances before long.